we've done quite a number of things over the years. We've had um, we've had social cricket matches uh, that that started around about the time I arrived back in 05. Uh, we got we got the local Timber Creek uh, Lions into the East Kimberley uh, football competition. Um, the girls in the district regularly compete in softball. Um, it's just part of the mix that. That, that, that cricket is uh, um, well, you know, it's just a, it's just one more sporting event. We've had seven teams enter this year's competition. Um, with teams travelling from as far as Robinson River. Um, we've also got a couple of local teams from Timber Creek um, and a women's only side. From You've come a long way. How far is it to from Robinson River to Timber Creek? Uh, 1100 k. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, How are you fighting the? The heat and uh, the dissipation down here. The heat is beautiful. It's um the uh, the dry heat is a bit of respite from the um from the humidity up north. So um it's been it's been good to get down for a few days. And uh, Aston Neil talks about the first pup cup was um was a great success. It was um, very good to see some um, I suppose the enormous kind of talent that um that is um, very evident around the terrace. Dinka Cup to me is, uh, has always been about uh, talking with empty cricket and, uh, and local members here, the, the um, traditional owners, and seeing if we could play cricket back in this country. And, um, and it's about also getting back here, meeting everyone, giving that commitment to uh, the locals in this area to, um, to play cricket you know, once a year. You know? so. The batsman's paradise, as we can see. Trying to get the key in there, nothing, nothing. So the curator's done a brilliant job of making it really hard. And that's what you want when you're playing these sort of games. You want a lot of runs um, and a lot of movement of the ball. So off the seam, the ball probably should get a bit of light movement, make it a little bit difficult early on in the innings. Um, if we look a bit wider, um, we can see there's a bit of a bit of a rough out here. So anybody for the leggies, if they can get a, get a nice rough patch out here, they might get a bit of turn. Catherine, teams from Kananara across the water, local teams from Timber Creek, and of course Robinson River, who I believe drove for a couple of hours to get here. But, um, your, uh, your presence here makes it um, adds a lot to the weekend. So thank you very much. Thank you to you all for making it a great weekend. It's been really fantastic, the amount of participants we've had this year. I think we've had like seven sides. We've had the Pub Cup. We've had a women's team, you know, we've had some people from Canada, Robinson River, you know, people coming from far and wide, so the participation's been fantastic. Uh, talk about putting in extra sides into the Empowered Cup this year, so, you know, things are looking positive and things, are, you know, the sport's growing in this region, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed with it all. Okay, great. Yeah, look, um, I, I, won't, I won't agree with you the way the last game went. I think it went down to a tee. I think it was very well planned out, and um, I think it was very clinical in the way we took apart the Vic Daly Shire team. Um, and just for those people who want to know what we're talking about, is the uh, Dingoes, the Timber Creek Dingoes, took out the title for the first time. And um, I think that's a pretty special thing for us. Um, I've been part of the Dingoes for the last two years, and We've made every final of every tournament we've been in the last two years and never won. So I think for the Dingoes to win the Dingo Cup um, after so long is very, very special and I know the guys are in the